I think the best way to describe it is the fastest game on two feet. You walk on the floor and you hear the crowd. There's no other feeling like it in the world. Playing in Buffalo was crazy. I've played against this city for 12 years, so my 13th year I finally get to play for it, and uh, the fans are so passionate. They, they love it, they're a part of the team. Uh, I remember coming here, playing against them, and when I would bring my kid to, uh, to the game, you know, he would get so wrapped up that he'd be end up cheering against me. The fans here are true lacrosse fans. And I, you know, for me growing up in, in Southern Ontario, St. Catharines, Buffalo Band, it's for the games we came to watch. So um, this is always a special place for me to come and play. The excitement's always there. The fans here are, are some of the biggest supporters on the cross. And, you know, that's such an historic team that it, it continuously carries on year in, year out. People have told me once you're a bandit, you're a bandit for life. And you can really see that being a player here. I started playing lacrosse when I was about three years old. As soon as I was born, I was given a stick. I was about 10, 11 years old. My dad uh, is a big legend down in Vancouver for lacrosse. Uh, honestly, nobody in my family ever played lacrosse. My mom never played anything but basketball. Lacrosse was that, uh, that cheaper alternative to hockey growing up. So uh, coming from a family that with you know, not a lot of money, lacrosse was, was the next best thing for, for me as, a, as an individual. A lot of people scratched their heads. Didn't really make a lot of sense early on. It wasn't very good, but uh, stuck with it and here we are. You know, for guys that don't know the NLL, pretty much everybody in this league has a regular nine to five job. In some cases, you're flying out maybe the night before a game, you're getting in early in the morning. You know, we're not the typical pro athlete that gets to focus on their sport seven days a week. Being able to come here and to perform at the highest level with all those elements against you, I think it makes lacrosse players a different breed. Hey boys, what? just like last week, eh? Fuck everything else. We're together and we get better, right? That's what it's all about. I get love fucking seeing you guys, whether I cut down to an hour from an hour and a half snowstorm. Guys are late. Doesn't matter. We get together on a Friday night. We get better as a team. Sound good? Pants on three. One, two, three. Yes. Yeah. So tomorrow night we play uh, the Vancouver Stealth, and um, it's going to be a good game. They've uh, they've been struggling right now, but they have so much offensive talent and a lot of good guys back on the DN. So. Uh, we really got to make sure we come prepared and, and ready to go and those guys are due to go off. We're never scared of anyone. Uh, you know, we know that teams are stacked with tons of talent, but you know, once you enter that locker room with your team, you look around and you see how much talent you have. They're a good team. I've spent many years playing against that team and they've always done a great job against me. You know, I, I just try to keep us focused and, and ready to, to go to battle tomorrow is huge. The feeling you get inside is, it was a nervous feeling, but also I think it's just that excitement to, to get out there and play and play at this highest level. Right when you're in that huddle and, and the boys are together, it, it's really uh, the same as when you watch these movies of gladiators and everything trying to get together and before they're gonna go out for war, it's the same thing where everybody's getting pumped up and, and re really ready to go for battle. And I think this is modern day's version of, you know, gladiators going to war. That's a big game, right? It is a big game fifth one in, get on the right side of the 500, right? And I know we've talked about not being and taking this team lightly, but f that, you guys are f***ing pro enough to know not to take anybody f***ing lightly. But let's worry about us, what makes us successful. F***ing 100% buy-in, everybody f***ing working hard for each other. F***ing discipline and don't, don't be f***ing outworked. Back in Bandit Land, I always talk about finding your f***ing reason, right? Whether it's your f***ing family or the f***ing love of the f***ing game. Never in my life have I walked out to a place sold out 16,000 fans where it's loud. And you know what, as a, as a visiting player coming in, they're hostile. They, they don't like us here, so um, it just all adds to the fun. Dane Smith, tipping it down to the far corner to Kellen Crepper. Smith for a shot, he scores! The great Dane opening things up. Jones leading to Crawford, back to Jones. Now to Crawford, Deking scores! Yeah, quick start for the Bandits. Keep going! Good job, boys! Good work! Sometimes you just get that little bit more energy when you know someone's maybe trying to reach over and, and grab you from the fans or tell you to suck through the boards. It gives you that little extra you know, incentive to get out there and score a goal and, and kind of stare at the fans and let them know who's boss. Deking small with a shot. 
And they score, and Vancouver in this game now. 3-1 Buffalo. NLL, it's a, it's a crazy, intense sport. No matter what's going on, uh, guys want to win, so your head's always got to be on a swivel because you just get beat up. That guy will drop you. That guy will drop you. Brownie, I want you to go over and ask how that's hard not a fight. Hard far short side. It's a clear hit to the face. Hold on. So he just yeah, gave, they just side. gave us a two minute Send for a f***ing rush so and a two minute for directly yeah. to the head. The NLL is in a class of its own. It's got everything that any sports fan would want. Any reason you go to any sporting event, it's in box across. In the bandit territory from the top of the slot is Logan Shush behind the back. Ball with a shot, he scores! Run, run, top run, of the run, slot, run. Shush with it. Scores! We know he's gonna shoot! Why are we up, not up there? Side is burned from the top of the slot. Crawford tipping the ball. There's a shot. Score! Yeah, the speed's just on a whole nother level. It's really like nothing you've ever felt in your life. Faster, stronger, meaner. You know, when you're going out there, every shift is, is 30 seconds of everything you got. Pick up our game here. No gaps on shooters. Madison one time had a 3 0 lead in this game. Keep putting him on this guy. Keep he's getting tired. Look at he's f***ing Van Over. He's f***ing tired. Hit by Stainhouse. Malcolm finding an open score. And that's How a, about that move by Corey Small? Yeah! Yeah, f yeah. I want Buki. I can. There's not really a game where you go through where you come out unfazed. Uh, you always got ice backs on your body somewhere. You know, picking up a loose ball. A guy's gonna be chasing after you, slashing you, pushing in the boards. It's so exciting, it's so fast. It's the best of the best in the world of it, and it's growing like crazy. Offense, you gotta be working here. Gotta work. We need you now. We need you now. The thing that I love most about playing lacrosse is I feel like at any time in the game, somebody can come back or somebody can make a play. Burn and down the house. It only takes a matter of seconds before the ball can be in the back of the net. Oh boy, and the Bandit faithful, they're feeling it right now, Johnny. Put some meat on him, don't get back door. Sets up the play, score! Three stud! And the Stealth take a 10-9 lead. Oh. One guy, Jonesy! He scores! It's just those little those little bits of competition all over the floor that equal up to a big play or a big goal that you know makes the cross exciting. Move, elects to go back up to McCready, who powers his way in front, takes the shot, he scores, and Vancouver wins it in overtime and snaps a four-game losing streak out of the gate. Oh, hey, wait, back and forth, back and forth. Great overtime win to get the first one of the season. Boys are. Oh. 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 Oh.